Um, Paul Dennett, can I ask you, um, what can local government do to support SMEs in particular? Uh, and what, what's happened already on that? And are there any barriers that would local government like to do more? Thanks very much for that question, Paul. Um, I, I would argue that we've been doing a lot in this space, certainly in, in Greater Manchester. You know, summer of last year, we all agreed a housing strategy for Greater Manchester, providing kind of policy clarity to the city region around the delivery of safe, healthy, accessible, and importantly, um, affordable homes. Because I think it's important to acknowledge what we're, what we're dealing with here is a, a housing crisis and a homelessness crisis, and a, affordability sits at the heart of all of that. In addition to that, Greater Manchester, as, as colleagues will probably know, has been on with our plan for homes, jobs, and the environment. You see, we don't see building homes in isolation from what's happening economically and what we want to achieve in terms of the environment within Greater Manchester. We're now committed to delivering carbon neutrality by 2038, and we're also committed to delivering the government's local housing need, you know, 201,000 homes over the period of the, the GMSF, which is the next 20 years. We're committed in that as well to delivering 50,000 affordable homes, 30,000 of which are social rent. And, you know, I don't really want to get into the, the language of affordability, but that is something we need to be considering here because affordability has to have a relationship with what people earn. I think it's important to look at what's been going on in terms of our track record as well. You know, since 2018 19, um, the last, that last year in terms of what we've got data for we delivered 11,500 homes in Greater Manchester, the first time since 2007 and 8 that we've actually exceeded our delivery target of 10,580. So we are, we are actually performing in this space, in my opinion. People will know as well, um, the Housing Investment Loans Fund was established, the £300 million loan arrangement we managed to secure from government back in 2007 and 8 after the financial crash that's been established and is supporting SME house builders. You know, 63% of 54 schemes we've funded so far are SME developers. So that's 34 schemes and that's 62.7 million going into SMEs within Greater Manchester, supporting the growth that we've, we've just been talking about. So for me, it's about policy clarity. It's about help with finance when, you know, some of the bigger institutions are not lending. It's also about working with our SME colleagues to genuinely drive an agenda of inclusivity and, um, you know, social value, really, because we know that through SME developers and builders, we can create jobs and opportunities for the people in Greater Manchester that will, you know, serve the economy, uh, you know, into the, the, the future, really, and hopefully start, you know, exporting um, construction skills around the world is where I would like to get to because there's a clear relationship between getting schemes away and delivering that and thinking about our industrial future as a city region and it's something I'd certainly like to spend more time doing some work on but yeah those, those are the things we're doing I accept it's still challenging and obviously COVID-19 brings with it additional challenges in terms of what this will mean for the future um, direction of the city region but I think having that policy clarity having that strategy and that vision working with SME developers in the city region and continuing to build on that puts us in a really strong space I think for you know accelerating some of what we've already been doing within the city region thank you